hello students a lot of you have been messaging me to post a video on the concept of uh, money market hedging which is an important concept in the chapter of foreign exchange risk uh, in the sfm paper of ca final so today i have finally decided to post the video and i am posting the video in two parts i am uploading the first part today and the second part will be uploaded by me in a few days as soon as i get time from my lecture schedules so here goes so what is a money market hedge when you did the chapter of foreign exchange you must have learned various methods of hedging against foreign exchange risk like forwards future contracts options etc well money market hedge is just another way of protecting yourself from the forex risk well how does a money market hedge work it involves creation of an asset or a liability today to mitigate a future liability or asset now note carefully the words i have used and then the sequence which i have used creation of an asset or a liability today to mitigate a liability or an asset in the future which means if you have a future liability that is a future payable in foreign exchange then you need to create an asset today in the foreign exchange and on the other hand if you have a future asset that is a future receivable in foreign exchange then you need to create a liability today in the foreign exchange now let's understand this with the help of an example let's say you have a payable of 100000 dollars due in 3 months time and your home currency is rupees the spot rate is let us presume at 1 dollar equals to rupees 65 and the interest rates in us will take it as 4% while in india will take it as 10% per annum now in this case we have a future payable that is a liability one of the methods by which we could have hedged this risk is of course by entering into a forward contract when we enter into a forward contract the rate gets logged in today and all the cash flows that is you handing out the rupees to the bank and the bank in turn giving you dollars which you will use to settle the payable will all happen on the due date so there's no cash flow implication today if we enter into a forward contract on the other hand another technique which we might use is instead of taking a forward cover today we may also construct a money market hedge now we know that we require 100000 dollars after 3 months so why not purchase the dollars today itself in which case we will be immune to rate changes in rupee dollar rate that is on the due date whatever happens to the rupee dollar rate we are not concerned because we have already procured the requisite dollars today itself now this is exactly what we will be doing in the money market hedge but then suddenly you might say hang on sir the dollars that we purchased today are we going to be carrying it around in our pocket and my answer to this would be a big no of course we will not be carrying the dollars in our pocket and thereby keep it idle quite naturally we are going to invest it and earn some interest on it so this implies that i need not purchase 100000 dollars today i need to purchase less than 100000 dollars so that if i invest that amount then along with the interest i will have 100000 dollars on the due date and on the due date i will hand over this 100000 dollars to my supplier to settle the payable now the question is how much dollar should i purchase today before we calculate how much dollars to purchase today let us first understand the various cash flow and their implications under money market hedge now since we are going to procure the dollar today itself it implies that the rupee outflow will take place today as against in a forward contract where the rupee outflow would have taken place only on the due date hence as compared to a forward contract this method that is a money market hedge involves blockage of capital today itself in which case we have to consider the interest cost on the rupee outlay but on the other hand the dollar we purchase today will be invested for 3 months since we need to hand out the dollars to the supplier only after 3 months hence we need to factor this interest earnings also now let us see how we do this now since we have a dollar payable that is a liability to create a money market hedge we need to create an asset that is invest in dollars but to invest in dollars the first thing that we need to do is buy the dollars now the question is how much dollar do we need to buy today now here you need to keep in mind the fact that the dollars purchased today will not be kept idle but will be invested at 4% for 3 months 
Hence, the amount of dollar that we need to buy today for the purpose of investment will be the present value of $100,000 at 4% for 3 months which works out to $99,010 approximately. So that means that we need to buy $99,010 today which at spot rate of $1 equals to 65 will result in an outflow of rupees 64 lakhs 35,650. But we cannot conclude that this is the total outflow to settle the payable since we'll be incurring interest cost on rupees 64 lakhs 35,650 which is blocked today at 10% per annum for 3 months. And this interest totals to rupees 16891 rupees. Hence, the total outflow of rupees if we undertake the money market hedge will be the outflow of 64,35,650 rupees plus the interest thereon at 10% per annum for 3 months which amounts to 1,68,91 resulting in a total outflow of rupees 65,96,541. Now we need not worry about the final outflow of 1 lakh dollars since that will be met out of the maturity of investment of 99,010 rupees which will give us 1 lakh dollar on maturity. So now we see how entering into a money market hedge can eliminate the foreign exchange risk which is associated with a international transaction. Now that brings us to the end of the part one of the two video series which I hope to bring on money market hedge. Hope this clears some of the confusion that you might have had on this concept. In this video, we discussed how to deal with a payable that is a liability. In the second part of the video, we'll discuss how to deal with a receivable. Keep watching this space for more such conceptual videos and give a slam to the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are intimated as soon as I post such videos. Ciao and stay well.